Hey everyone, Tim here from QBKing77.com here to do a video showing you how to manually install the latest Google Play Store version 3.9.16 which does include various fixes. I'll be going over those as soon as I install it. So first of all, let's get it installed. Uh, it's actually quite easy. First of all, I recommend going into settings and then go ahead and scroll down. It actually depends on which uh, operating system you're on, whether you're running ice cream sandwich, gingerbread, jelly bean. This is jelly bean and it kind of depends on your phone. There's Sometimes it's in applications, other times it can be in security. Under security, you're going to have to check unknown sources right there and hit OK. Uh, if you, I believe it's on Ice Cream Sandwich, you have to go into applications or something like that. You need to find unknown sources and make sure those are checked. Anyways, on Jelly Bean, on my Galaxy S3, it is under security. So make sure you, unknown sources is checked once it is. You're also going to need to go ahead and click on the link in the description of the video and download a file. It will be an APK file. Once that file is downloaded, it shouldn't take long at all. Just transfer it on over to your device, whether it be an internal or external storage. It does not matter. Just click and drag it from your computer to your phone after you plug it in. Once you've done that, you need to go to a file explorer on your phone, whether it be My Files. You can go ahead and go to the Play Store and download ES File Explorer if you'd like to. But go ahead and hop into My Files and then we are going to want to navigate to wherever we have all those files. And the file we transfer is at com.android uh, 3.9.16 APK. You'll see it up at the top there. Go ahead and select it. And then it says this is a system application. Do you want to replace it? Just hit OK and then hit install. And what's going to happen is it will manually install this updated Google Play Store on your device. Application installed. Just hit done. And there we go. So you don't need to be rooted. This works if you're rooted or not rooted. Uh, but let's go ahead and go over some of these new features. Right away I can show you one actually. It's actually very cool. The new updates option. It says updates available. Three updates found. Uh, that is different. So it lets you know uh, that the icon there is a little bit different. But if you're on Jelly Bean you can actually pinch in and expand and see which ones need to be updated. So it lets you know which applications need to be updated after there's a certain amount. If there's just one, I think it just shows you the application that needs it, but if there's more than one, you can expand it. It lets you know exactly which applications need to be updated. So that's a new feature. Obviously, if you're not on Jelly Bean, you can't really expand them. I don't know if it automatically keeps them expanded like that or if it's just say, or if it just says three available. Someone can let me know if you're on Ice Cream Sandwich and uh, get updates, let me know, leave a comment, let us know if it does show up as expanded or just as three updates found. So now let's go over some other features of the new Google Play Store. So let's go into the Play Store itself. Once it loads on up, you can go ahead and press Menu and go to My Apps. So go ahead and go to My Apps. You'll see you have Installed and you have All. All shows basically all of the applications you've ever installed on any device, uh, which is great, but there's always times when you just want to try out an application and you don't want it to be on this list anymore, so you can always go back, it, back to it if you change devices or anything like that if you do a factory reset. Let's say I don't want Dialer 1 to be on there anymore. All I have to do is press and hold on it, and you'll see you have a check mark in the upper left-hand corner and you have uh, a cancel in the upper right-hand corner. Just press this in the upper right-hand corner and you can remove Dialer 1 from My Apps. Just hit OK and it'll be gone. So you'll see dialer one's gone. You can also multi-select applications. So if you want to press and hold on one and then go ahead and tap another one that you didn't want on there or another one. So I mean you can go through and find applications that you don't use anymore and you don't want to be on this list anymore. You can just tap on them and you'll see I have multi-selected four different ones. I just hit uh, that, that cancel and it says remove the selected apps, hit OK and they will be gone. Also uh, what's nice is when you're in the all my apps and you select on an application, let's say I wanted to install I'm scrolling through and I'm finding applications I wanted to reinstall. Let's say I wanted to reinstall Flow Free. Um, I can go ahead and install it and hit accept. And now when I hit go back, it's still on that same spot I was at, Flow Free. It doesn't go back to the top, which I believe it did before. So that is great that it keeps uh, with this list so you don't have to continuously scroll down and scroll through. I don't know if this is a new, uh, this feature is included with these applications. So if I want to go into games, let's say you're scrolling through and you like uh, and you want to uh, find applications that you like and enjoy and you're just kind of going through the top applications. So let's say I wanted to go ahead and install Pool Master Pro. Say I like this. Okay, I'm going to accept and download, but I want to keep looking through before, okay, so it does keep you on the same spot. I believe before it jumped you back to the top and you had to scroll all the way back down. So that's another really great new feature that uh, Google has included in this new Google Play Store. 
Uh, so that's really amazing, and I think that's just about it for updates that I know of. Uh, if there's any other cool things that you want to mention, feel free to leave a comment. Let me know about them. I'll, leave, I'll make an annotation in this video if I find any myself. But that's it. So let me know what you think. Be sure to leave a comment. Be sure to subscribe as well. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Google+. All links will be in the description of the video below. As always, thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up.